here I have already configured the REST API authorization within the key cloak for the REST APIs which we have already implemented in the Quarkus application. I, am, I have not added all of the REST APIs just for the explanation. I have added some of them. Let's see one by one. Here's the update menu item resource. For this REST API, we have added a resource called update menu item. And for this, we have added a policy called update menu item policy. And the role assigned here is owner because you have already seen here that this REST API was allowed to access only by the owner. And this policy has been used in the permissions update menu item permission here to map the update menu item resource with the update menu item policy and we are not changing any other things here similarly for create restaurant we'll go to this create restaurant this restaurant rest api has a policy create restaurant policy and admin has the access to it if you see to create a restaurant admin was required and this has been used in the permissions create restaurant permissions create restaurant resource is mapped with the policy within the permission the other rest apis are also similar to how i have explained here let's directly jump into the execution the server is already running here in the swagger so owner was if you see here in the users amar was the owner but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use suresh suresh is the manager so we are using suresh here let me authorize and try to access seven item id is 1029 and this item try it out so the value was 130 i want to change it to 125 125 it says it is forbidden because only owner has the access and owner here is Amar so let me just log in using Amar authorize and try to execute again so here it says executed successfully just to confirm i'm going to show this token if it has updated let me paste here and you'll be able to see this token access token belongs to amar and amar has the role owner which means whatever the configurations we have provided here are working the same way how they were working when these were configured within the Quarkus application. So here you might have seen that within the policies, here you have seen some of the configurations like required check button and the logic so we did not explain that we'll see now in our next video about these two properties thanks for watching